Monday, January 7th. So glad you're with us. I'm Susan Hendricks. You're watching On The Story, and we are watching three big stories today. First, after a week-long manhunt, Texas authorities say they have their men. Two suspects now behind bars, one charged with capital murder in the shooting death of seven-year-old Jasmine Barnes. The case captured the nation's attention last week. Details on that ahead. Also, actor Kevin Spacey sitting in a small Nantucket courtroom just a short while ago, accused of groping an 18-year-old busboy inside of a bar. An important ruling involving cell phone data. Details ahead on that. And and the government shutdown, yes, it is still going on, now entering its third week. Long lines at airports, trash piling up at national parks, hundreds of thousands wondering when they're going to get paid next. And what about your tax return if your plan was to file early? Is there an end in sight? But first. We start with Kevin Spacey. The award-winning actor was just arraigned inside of a Massachusetts courtroom. He is accused of assaulting a busboy at a restaurant back in 2016. In politics, will he or won't he? As Joe Biden continues to mull a 2020 presidential bid, he is said to be close to making a final decision. His friends continuing to follow breaking news out of Tennessee now. Santoya Brown, who is serving a life sentence for killing a man when she was 16, was just granted clemency a short time ago by the state's governor bill haslam and martin to clear it up it's not a pardon that you would get from the president this is clemency correct so she still has to follow some rules here right she essentially is having her sentence commuted to the time that's been served seen at the time not the age of consent sex trafficking it is prevalent a huge problem in the state of georgia many states uh, with celebrity comes attention and there's been a lot of attention on social media to this case right Right. Uh, you have people like, you know, Rihanna and, and Kim Kardashian who in Hollywood, but not not just those celebrities. A lot of politicians had come forward. Uh, and, uh, that's very true. Very <laughs> Martin true. Martin Savage, thank you. Mm. Appreciate it. It all down to tonight. If you're a football fan, you know who I'm talking about. Alabama and Clemson kick off, go head to head for the college football championship. It's the third time, by the way, that these teams are going to battle it out. Coy Wire is in San Jose, California for the big game. Hey, Coy.